it's your girl Sean. So I am here with a slight haul video, and it's called "Does the Glass Say What?" Yes, that is what I'm calling this video. Does the glass say what? So, do y'all remember? Um, I think when I did my Mac haul or my little bit of everything haul. I had purchased this and this was like a fluke one night. I saw this um, in Walgreens. I had just came from a night out and I saw this in Walgreens because I wanted to go get something to drink. And I was like, oh, let me scan their section real quick. And I saw this lip gloss and it starts shining. Remember I told you guys that it was very close to, it reminded me of like the Dazzle glasses. Well, it was in MAC and I was looking at their Dazzle glass because you, as you guys know, I hate their Dazzle glass because it's a way, like way too sticky. Just it has like this nasty pasty glue feeling okay so when I really did look at them and try them out and I went back and looked at some of the MAC dazzle glasses because I was like well maybe if I put on a lip glass and then the dazzle glass it wouldn't be so sticky still didn't like it I realized that they have there's one in bear I think it's called bear necessities looks exactly like this lip gloss or now I'm calling it lip gloss looks exactly like Milani's 3D glitzy glamour gloss and this one is in designer label bear I think it's called bear necessities look just like this awesome the other one that um I think there's a dupe for this one um I think it's like this one's um number 39 fashion diva um there's a dupe for this one as well but it's it's uh maybe a, the uh, dazzle glass one maybe a little bit more purple but it's just our uh, little darker pink but it's exact dupe for it and this one here that I have is in in vogue which is number 44 and there's a dazzle glass dupe for this as well or there's a dazzle glass for this so this is the dupe for it um so as you guys know I have there are five of them and I now have all five there are my new favorite lip glosses um remember I told you guys a long time ago that I was getting tired of the ones with the wand I'm back to the ones with the wand and I'm starting to think that maybe the ones with the wand are a little bit better because you can get put it like spread it out and if you have lipstick on you can get everything put on together because there's a little brush on it so maybe they might be a little bit better than the squeezy tubes but I still love my wet and wild squeezy tube ones so and I think I will have these forever um and the, the L'Oreal ones but these are definitely dupes to the dazzle glass and like I said um they come in five different shades and I'm gonna show you all the shades again this one's starshine very pretty pink and I'm gonna do swatches of these so you guys can see them so that's starshine right here then the, um, designer label like a nudie peach color and I have on one of them right now with the lipstick so this is designer label fashion diva and these are like six bucks a piece the dazzle glass are like fourteen dollars um and that's fashion diva and I have on Leading Lady right now underneath um and underneath it I have on my Estee Lauder lipstick in rose tea which is kind of a neutral color kind of on my lips but I really like it and Leading Lady looks like this and yes I'm only doing little dots because I want to maximize the gloss because it, they were very hard to find and the only place that I found all the rest of them were at CVS I was able to buy two at Walgreens and the last one here is um in vogue in vogue is the very last one so this is in vogue leading lady fashion diva 
Designer Label, and Starshine. And those are the swatches of those. Um, these are like very, very nice. They're not sticky. They're re just, just like regular lip gloss. And I would say the Dazzle Glass has a lot more glitter. But I mean, I think I would rather pay, save $10. Um, then spend fourteen dollars for extra glitter. I mean, that's the case. I can get a little bit of glitter and add to it if I just really want some sparkle. But just in my opinion. Um. Also, one other thing. At Walgreens, there's a little bit of difference in price. I wish I could find the receipt. I wish I had the receipt. But at Walgreens, I think I paid like four ninety nine for this one. And I think I paid four ninety nine for this one. At CVS, they are six ninety nine a piece. So I would tell you to go and look for a sale if you want all five or whatever. But I got all five because I knew that they were my favorite. And after I bought this one, I went back and bought another one. I bought this one for my mom. But if she doesn't like it, she'll give it back to me. So I'll have another star shine one. But I have all five of them now and they're well worth it. They're like they're really nice lip glosses. So I probably won't be purchasing lip gloss for a while now because I have enough. And if I keep at the rate I'm going, I'm gonna be broke. And um somebody's not gonna be too happy. We ain't gonna say who that is, but we already know. So, um and <laughs> And he's in the kitchen and he's talking about that's right but um that is all I want to tell y'all about that so these are da definitely dazzle glass dupes if you guys don't have any dazzle glass and you really want some I would suggest you check out the Milani one 3D glamour gloss first and then decide if you want those or if you really want to spend all the extra money and go and buy the actual dazzle glass but I'm just telling you these are the dupes and there's the looks again So, alright divas, I am about to leave. I will see you guys in the next video. And like I always say, it's not about how much it costs, it's how you apply it. So keep doing your things, diva, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.